Wiesbaden's Community First program is hosting two focus groups and they want your input. Submit your ideas for the Warrior Transition Unit and Civilian Workforce focus groups under the CMS AFAP link on the Garrison website at wiesbaden.army.mil. The focus groups meet July 20th and August 5th. It's not hard to tell that the United States Army Garrison Wiesbaden is in the midst of a transition. Construction crews have a sizable presence throughout the community. The project has the attention of some of the Army's top leadership. The United States Army Corps of Engineers Director of Military Programs, Bob Slockbauer, says the construction is necessary for progress. We are doing projects that are absolutely necessary to meet the needs of the Army and the nation serving where we are right now. And also importantly, there's an awful lot of things that have to be done to be sure that we're taking care of our soldiers and family members, and particularly the schools projects and the projects in the housing areas. I know at some times that can be an inconvenience as that's taking place, but we're really doing it for the long-term benefit of the soldiers and family members. While USAG Wiesbaden is undergoing numerous quality of life housing construction projects to benefit our soldiers and families, town hall meetings are being held for residents to detail construction projects. Meetings for Heinerberg residents are in the Heinerberg Multipurpose Room on Tuesday and for Wiesbaden Army Airfield, Mainz Castell and Mainz Visit residents on Thursday in the Flyers Theaters. All meetings start at 6.30. Free child care will be provided. The Wiesbaden Army Airfield Technology Expo is next Friday at the Wiesbaden Fitness Center. Attendance is free. Stop by from 10 until 2 to check out demonstrations in new technology from more than 65 exhibitors. That's the early edition of your AFN Wiesbaden update. I'm Army Sergeant Chris Baker. Have a great day.